What's up everybody? It's your man Harris here and today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to use UUIDs in MySQL. Now if you take a look at the code here on the left, this is what I ran to generate this output here on the right to show you how to use UUIDs. Now if you'd like to try this yourself, the link to the code is in the description so feel free to download it and follow along. Now after I ran all of this code here on the left, this on the right is my output in MySQL. So you have to be logged into MySQL. Now my UUID is generated here in this row when I selected all the data from my account table. So I have a user ID with this UUID. So all a UUID is, is a 36 character long string that consists of randomly generated numbers and letters. So to generate a UUID, all you have to do is when you're running your insert command, where you're inserting data into your table, for the column that you want to generate a UUID for, in this case, I want to generate a UUID for my user ID column. So it's my first column. Now, when I put in my values, all I have to do is for that column, I just have to say UUID and then open parentheses and close parentheses. And this will generate a UUID function that generates this string. So this string here is generated by this UUID function. So you just need to insert this into your values. So that's a quick tutorial on how to generate a UUID. Now you need to make sure that the column that you are inserting the UUID in, so if you look over here on the left, in my account table, I have my user ID column. You have to make sure that it's 36, it can accept at least 36 characters. So it needs to be a var car of 36 or greater. So if you go any lower than that, it will generate an error. So it needs to be a var car of 36 or greater. Now, that's a quick tutorial on UUIDs. Now, I have a much more complex tutorial linked in the description that will walk you through how to set up your database to properly accept UUIDs and how to use them the right way. And this is critical for generating a proper database structure if you are a database developer. So if you'd like a more in-depth tutorial on what UUIDs are and how to properly use them, please follow the link to the more complex video in the description. Now, make sure you guys check out our sponsor for this video, invoicebell.app, where you can create a free account where you can create invoices, estimates, and quotes for your customers. You can bill your customers and you can save contacts. Now, this here is the template. It's very easy to use and works well on desktop, tablet, and phone. And all of your documents get saved in the cloud. It comes with unlimited storage and it's free to use. So make sure you guys go to invoicebell.app to sign up for an account. Thank you so much for watching and have a great night.